Hey guys, it's Yoga Joe here. Today for the practice, uh, we're joined with my wife Erin, and uh, she's going to help us uh, for the practice today. You ready? Yeah. Let's get started in a child's pose position. So Erin's going to come down on the hands and knees, and pressing the hips back somewhat towards the heels, and you can stretch your arms, your hands. If you can make it, bring your forehead down to the floor, just like this. And this is where we're going to begin the practice today. The practice is going to begin here. And sometimes when I go into my yoga practice, when I'm in a class, and we begin in child's pose, that's where the practice begins, but sometimes, more often, I, I'm ready to just move or get a little bit further or deeper into the practice and get started. But sometimes we need to realize, right, that the practice has already started, it's begun. And for us today, right, child's pose, this is where it begins. You're already in the practice. And this is it. So I want you to just settle in that for a moment and start to feel the connection with your breath. Maybe feel how grounded that you are, settling with your arms and hands, heavy on the floor, and just slowly trying to relax. Start feeling the way that your breath is, and check in with the quality of your breath. Inhale, exhale. This is where our practice is going to begin, and it's already started. Inhale slowly, exhale out slowly, and a rest. One more time. Inhale slowly, and exhale out, rest. Let's lift your body up to table pose. We're going to line the shoulders over your hands. And can you start moving through some cats and cows? Inhale, breath. We're going to lift the head up. Exhale, breath. This is going to travel you into cat pose. So you're pressing the floor away. Around the back. Inhale, breath. You're going to open up the neck, shoulders, and chest. And exhale, breath. You're going to curve the back and really nice get in there around the spine. Inhale, breath. Do a nice air. Exhale, breath. You can rounding the back. And this is where the practice is going to take us today. It's going to take us into some nice movement. So you could do this at any point, morning, maybe later on, evening too, whatever you have time for. And today, right now, our practice is here. This is movement, it's breath work, and we're going to connect, connect into the movement and the breath work together. So every breath in, opening, lifting the head, chest, shoulders, and every breath out, try seeing if you can push the hands down into the floor and get the rounding in the back. We're going to do one more time. We're going to do an inhalation. And then an exhalation to cat. Good, nice. Now I want you to find a neutral tabletop position. I'm bringing the gaze slightly forward. Still keep that contraction of the, the arms and a slight contraction through the mid region. And then keep that gaze looking straight forward. Tuck your toes, and we're gonna lift the knees about an inch off the floor. I want you to just settle and feel this here for a moment. You're in the practice. This is it. It looks really simple, you guys. But just that fact of hovering the knees creates this, uh, this beautiful uh, exercise, simple too, of Abdominal work. You feel that in the abdominals? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So keep that nice form. Keep the breath. 
guys are doing great. Inhale, hold it. Hold the breath and exhale out. Can you do that one more time? Inhale, hold it. Exhale, let it out. Lower down the knees. Take your big toes together, your knees wide, and go back to the child's pose. Good, nice job. Again, returning back to that child's pose. It's your safety zone, you guys. You can take this any point in practice. You know this. Just stay here, relax. Inhale, we're going to go into tabletop position. I want you to take your first downward facing dog. So the toes tuck, the knees lift, excuse me, and the hips lift up in here. Making a really nice upside down V here. And you can gaze back towards your feet. And you want to walk your feet in just a little bit here. Yeah, your feet up a little bit forward. This is another way to take a down dog that I've been playing around with recently, especially if you want to get more of the stretch in the back of the legs. We all have generally tight hamstrings, not just you, not just me, right? We all have right tightness or resistance in the legs. So you can shorten that dog a little bit just to give you more support, more ease. Sometimes that's a nice feeling in the downward facing dog or aversion. Now keep that short uh, distance in your downward facing dog here. Lift your gaze forward and we're gonna bend the knees and lift the uh, heels up, nice. Now I want you to set up here. Contract your midsection, use your core and on your toes start to walk the feet forward up to your hands. Good. Keep going. Keep going, Aaron. Nice. And come up into your flat back position now. Good. That gaze is going to stay forward for a moment here. You're going to contract the arms and the hands and press and hold them into your knees. Now slide forward and take a forward fold position. And exhale out. Good. And notice that you can keep a little bend in the knees. Keep that bend in the knees as you bend forward. Now come up halfway, and I want you to straighten out the legs. Good. And then fold position again. Knees can stay bent, or you can maybe start locking the legs out. See if you can lift your hips up and lock your legs. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Lock it out a little bit more. Good. And exhale. Good. So you can roll up here standing or come up all the way, straight back, straight arms, lift your hands over the head and lean just a little bit back if you can. So you get that nice back bend, opening of the chest, opening of the heart, and then lift your arms all the way up and just let them come down to your sides. Mountain pose. Good. Now you want to like adjust our shirts a little bit here. <laughs> But that's okay, just try to let it go, be still. We'll do a sun salutation here. Inhale, lift your arms and hands up to the sky. Exhale, dive forward and fold. Inhale, come into a flat back. Exhale, dive forward and fold. Step your right foot back, tap down your knee. Keep your hands on the floor, lift your gaze up. Anjale Asana. And if you can here, try to deepen a little bit more of that bend in your uh, left knee. Yeah, that's it. And you're pressing down your right quadricep muscle. So you get that stretch there. That is often pretty tight or hard stretch to get into. If you want to take it into the next version there, you lift your arms and hands up. Full version of that Anjali Asana. Inhale, reach back, reach back, open up. And roll your hands down onto the floor. Step back into your downward facing dog. Breathe in. Hold the breath. Good. Breathe out. Drop down the knees, chest, and chin. Bend your elbows. And you're going to lower down and take a first baby cobra. So don't come up a, a lot. Come up here just a little bit. There's a nice uh, effort here in the toes. 
You're pressing down with a nice effort here in the lower part of your back. Come up a little bit higher. You don't have to come up much more. And then just lift your eyes. Hold that. And then exhale, forehead to the floor. See if you can nice and strongly push up here into tabletop pose. And then come back into your downward facing dog. And we'll start with the right leg lifting up in the air. And just try stepping that right foot forward between the hands. We're going to slide down the left knee. We're going to push down the toes. We're going to leave the hands on the floor. See if you can get a, a, a either a bigger bend in the front knee, maybe closing it off a little more than 90 degrees. And then bring the arms and hands up into your full version of Anjali Asana, low crescent lunge. Breathe in, let your arms go up, breathe out, breathe in, let your arms go back a little bit more, open the heart, and then breathe out, lower your hands to the floor, step up to the front of your mat, so feet together, and lift to your flat back position, legs straight, arms straight, back is straight, and then forward fold. Rise your arms all the way up to the sky, hands together, Push your hips forward, reach back. And then come up and lower your arms down to the sides. Mountain pose. And sit nicer. Even brush those shoulders back, that feels good. Let's do one more round. Inhale, lift your arms and hands up to the sky. Good, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, flatten your back. Exhale, fold. We'll lead with the left foot back this time. Tap down your knee. Good. And you can come right into it. Arms up. And you inhale here. Good. Let those fingertips take you back. Right? If you activate those fingertips, then when we activate the shoulders, then everywhere below activates as well. And just put your fingertips, hands on the floor. Step back to your downward facing dog. On the breath out. Now I want you to take a breath in and hold it. Exhale, drop down the knees, chest, chin. You're going to lower down slowly. Bring. Good, to the floor. Good job. Inhale, a little hard over here. Baby cobra. When you have that full range of movement on the lower back, you're ready to take full cobra. No rush here. Come up a little bit more, full cobra. Press into the arms. Press into your hands. You always want to bring that um, gaze either forward or slightly back. Nice. Exhale, let your head come down to the floor. Plank pose. Let's see if you can come all the way up. Or take knees and chest and chin. Nice. Downward facing dog. That's a strong transition. Good job. Inhale, we'll start with the left leg up now. Breathe in, open up. Breathe out, step that left foot forward, all the way between the hands, tap down the right knee, and lift your arms and hands up, Anjali Asana. Again, good, so we activate the shoulders, they're in alignment, we're going to try to activate the energy through our fingertips, and then exhale, bring the hands and arms down, step up to the front and fold. And lift yourself up halfway. Exhale, fold. And rise up. Then slowly lean back. Inhale. Lean back, lean back. And come up, mountain pose. Let your arms drop down to the sides. Brush the shoulders here too. You can let that go. All right. Feel pretty warmed up? So that's just two rounds that we did. We're gonna inhale, sweep the arms up here and take chair pose position. I want you to bend your knees. Drop the hips low to the ground. Good. It's a nice form. Weights back towards the heels. And I want you to try to keep those arms and hands up. If there's a modification. You can leave your arms up or you can bring the hands right through heart center. All right, hold it here. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, breathe in, breathe out, fold. Let's see if you can straighten out your legs here. 
And I want you to try grabbing the big toes if you can. If you can't reach just yet, that's fine, no worries. Just reach down, try to straighten out the legs. Now lift your gaze forward. You're not gonna come up into that flat back position where we're just in, that's okay. But I want you to pull here on your exhale and fold. Bring your arms out to the sides. Yeah, that's it. See if you can keep those legs straight. Lift the hips up slow. You're creating this really nice forward fold feeling as you get in there. And get into your fold. Inhale, bring it up into flat back. Bring your hands by your knees here. Yeah. And exhale, relax here. Just fold down slowly. Nice. Inhale, take your arms and hands up. We're gonna reach up to the sky. Now, interlace your fingers. Take your two index fingers out and lean over to the left side. Then lean over to the right side. And again, lean over to the left side. Lean over to the right side. So just a few times here, you get to loosen up your side bodies. All that lateral space, all the way from the shoulders, through the hips. I want you to keep your two hips in one straight line. Squeeze your hands together tight, but start to lean over to your left side. So we're taking half moon position. Your hips are pushing to the side, arms locked out. Feel that stretch down the side of your back. Good, nice Aaron. See if you can keep those hips aligned and then lean back just a little bit more like you're in a heart opener. Good. Squeeze your feet together, squeeze your hands together. Take a breath in and come up all the way to stand. Keep those arms stretched. Exhale, now change. Slowly we're bending to the right side. Moving along with the breath. Good, here and yourself breathe. Take a breath, come back up. I want you to interlace the fingers around the back of your neck. We're just gonna do a little gentle back bend here. Relax the weight of your head into your hands. You can even feel free to open those elbows up so we get that um, uh, shoulder to the shoulder blades stretching here. Take a breath. And then lean those hips forward. Nice, Aaron. Good job. Inhale. Come all the way up. Lift your arms. Raise them up to the sky. And reach out and forward fold. And come down slowly. Really nice. Great control here. So we did our uh, forward fold again. Now we're going to touch the hands down on the floor and lead the left foot back. If we step it back for me. Good. This one, we're gonna leave that knee off the ground here. So we're in a, a low lunge or runner's lunge, sometimes we call it here too. Now bring the right arm up and take a twist. Keep your, just your left hand down on the floor. Our first twisting position. Mm -hmm. Again, try keeping those fingertips together so that brings you into that full spinal twist. And lower your right hand down. Make sure you feel pretty balanced here. Control, right? lining up your body. See if you can bring both arms up for me now. High lunge. Good. So you can see this is a pretty wide high lunge. If you ever needed to uh, step it in a little bit, you can. All right, so a little bit challenging holding that wide lunge, but I want you to have uh, that control, that steadiness. Let's hold it here for one more breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Dominant is in that front leg. Breathe out. One more time. You got this. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lower down the hands. Step back to your downward facing dog. That's going to feel like a resting position for a second here. But then I want you to take it into a high push-up position, the plank pose. Five. This is all you. Listen to your body. Take a breath. Four. Three. Two.
two, one. Tap down your knees, lower down. Bring the elbows to the sides of your body. Come up a little bit to low cobra. Bring it up to full cobra when you're ready. Lift your heart center. And exhale, downward facing dog. You can do child's pose. Take it back to child's pose for me just to show that option. Good, and we'll push up. And then back into downward facing dog. We're just gonna meet there. Good, a nice inhalation. Let's lift up your left leg here. Yeah. So we're gonna do an open hip version of the three-legged dog. It's a little bit of balancing that's uh, going on here as well. So strongly press into your right heel, equal pressing into your hands, and feel that stretch down the right hamstring with your left leg up. Good. Now we're going to lunge that left foot forward, runner's lunge position. Keep that right knee up. Yeah, just step forward. Try to get that leg all the way up there, that foot right between your hands. Make sure you're even and balanced on your um, back toes and on your fingers. And then on inhalation, let's bring your arms and hands up. Low crescent lunge. Into high lunge. Beautiful form here. Feel steady. Inhale slow. Exhale out slow. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. And two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Lower down your hands. Step up to the front and fold. Breathe it in, take it up into flat back. Breathe it out, take it into a forward fold. Bring it up on an inhalation. Lift your arms, lift up the hands. Lean a little bit back. And then bring the arms down to the sides. Take a breath into the nose. Shrug your shoulders if you want to here. We got a day. Gonna do it again. Inhale. Chair pose, lift your arms, exhale, bend your knees. Good. Arms up, nice steadiness here, strong. Now straighten out the legs and fold. Good. Inhale, bring it into flat back. Exhale, bring it into a forward fold and step your right leg back. Balance on the fingertips. Press into your back toes. Dominant weight's going to be on your front leg. And let's bring the arms and hands up into high crescent lunge. Again, we have that wide high lunge. If you need to, Right, you just kind of step that uh, foot in a little bit. I'd rather you have the um, steady high lunge than the wobbly one, where we're just trying to kind of balance our best into it. So just get that focus, get the balance here. Start to inhale and exhale through the nose. On the exhale, step your left leg back to downward facing dog. Right to plank pose. So if you can't hold that plank for that long, that's okay. Try just kind of uh, bringing the shoulders over the hands and practice that steady position. Good. One last time here, Aaron, drop down the knees and then bend your elbows and go down, chest and chin. And do your low cobra. Press into toes, high cobra. If you want to come up, press a little bit more in your arms. Good. Lifting that gaze back. And exhale, downward facing dog. 
So it's all me back in that down dog as we go there. Balance. So this time we're going to lift the right leg up. Now that stretching sensation is in the left leg. So three-legged dog. Now drive that knee in towards your nose and step your right leg up. And practice that transition. Takes a little bit of time. And then come up into your high lunge one more time. Right foot forward, press down into that leg and try to balance here. Focus on the hip alignment. Maybe focus on your shoulder alignment. Make sure you're not wobbling side to side. High lunge is a really great form that works on toneness, your balance, your concentration. And then let your arms come down to the floor, step up to the top of your mat, go into your flat back, and go into your forward fold. Inhale, rise up to the top. Good, interlace the fingers. We're gonna do one more set, last one of half moon. Let's take your index fingers out, slowly lean to the left side now. Half moon. Second set, now that we've done a little bit more and we've already done this, See if you want to take it a little bit deeper. Know that you don't have to here, but second set maybe we're more opened up. So lean a little bit deeper if you can for me. Exhale, push. Yeah, really nice. Inhale, bring it back up. Lean back up here a little bit, and then lean to the right side. Change. Take your half moon. You forgot to do a side twist. Um, the side angle turn to the left. Oh, thanks. And come up. Good. I always forget something. That's okay. <laughs> We're going to drop the head up just here a little bit. Reach out, reach straight forward, and fold. Good. We'll step the right leg back into a high lunge. We'll add in that twist here. So we'll keep the right arm down, and we'll take the left arm up. And it was just that twist, right? Mm -hmm. So now that we do this side, make sure that we get it in. We're gonna lower the left hand to the floor, coming out of that twist. Good. And let's just uh, quarter turn our bodies to the side of our mat. So we'll drop the right heel. We'll turn the left toes in. We're gonna come slowly up here on the fingertips. And then fold your body down. Keep those legs stretched out wide here. And if you can, grab your, uh, grab your legs and grab the outsides of your feet. Breathe in, breathe out. There's a nice full stretching sensation that's, uh, that's going on here entirely throughout the whole body. So you should feel that in the legs. You should feel it in the, the upper body here as well. Use your arms. Take one more deep breath, and exhale. Take your hands onto your waist, use your legs, and come up here slow. Inhale. Good. Stretch and reach your arms. Yeah. So let's do a couple of our standing warrior two poses. We'll turn the right toes out first. Let's leave those arms opened up. Open up this uh, left hip for me into warrior two. And we're going to stretch out the arms. Yeah, very nice. Inhale. Exhale. Stretch your right arm up into a peaceful warrior. Bring your left hand down your left leg. Very nice. Keep that bend in the right leg. Open up, stretch. Come back into warrior two. Good. Straighten your leg and turn to the side again. Lift your arms. And keep it simple. We're going to switch. So turn your left toes out to the side. Bend your left leg. Same warrior two pose. 
So you want a slight external rotation of that back hip. Strong contraction of the right leg. And then keeping that dominance in that front leg. You're going to take your left arm up and do a peaceful warrior. Exhale, I'll go into warrior two position again. Yeah, turn your toes in, lift your arms up. Good, and fold forward. Wide leg forward fold. Let's move your uh, body side to side a few times. So slowly you're gonna bend the right leg. Hands can walk over a little bit. Hold that and pause for a moment. And then change sides. So we'll move the shoulders to one end. Deeply bend that other leg, straighten out the opposite, and do that about like two more times on each side. We work a little bit of everything in yoga, and the uh, side to side movement kind of works our mobility of the hips, transitioning body from one end to one end, getting some awesome stretches here on the sides. Let's do, yeah, go over one more time on each side. Skandasana. It's the movement of going side to side in those stretches. One more. Good. And come back in the middle when you're ready. Good, we're going to turn back to the front of the mat. And do our downward facing dog. We really, work, we really work the hamstrings and the legs. We're going to make it a little bit more challenging in this one. I want you to come into a plank position. And give your gaze forward and see if you can start to hover over the mat. I would say this is a little bit more challenging to do, but bring your elbows into bent position. Try to slowly hover and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, then lay down flat. So that is control, right? Slowly lowering down. It's really great. Now press into those toes again. We're going to come up into baby cobra. And full cobra here, if you can come up a little bit higher. So you get that awesome stretch. And exhale, bring it back up to downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. You guys are doing great. Come up to the front of your mat. You're gonna walk the legs forward, or take a little bit of a hop, a step. So feet up to the hands, good, flat back, forward fold. We're going to move a little bit faster, let's bring the arms and hands up over the head, exhale, forward fold. So get ready to move here just a little bit. Step back into down dog, inhale, roll forward to plank position, lower down your way. You can start the knees, chest, chin, or hover over the mat, strong transition, come up into cobra. Tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog. If that cobra feels pretty good, there's no rush, right? Pause, deep in the breath. Hop, step, or walk up to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise the arms over the head. A little bit of a back bend or, or chest lift here. And take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward. We're going to do that three more times today. Step back into down dog. You got it here. Try to get those hands down flat. You guys are doing great. Come into plank pose. You can either try to hold it or lower down slowly. Three, two, one. Cobra position. Tuck your toes. Remember to inhale breath here. Exhale, breath downward. Excuse me, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, walk, step, or hop up to the front of our mat. Two more times. Inhale, flat back. 
Exhale, fold, move down slowly. Move up, lift the arms over the head. Take a breath in. Good. Exhale, fold. Downward facing. Try to get those hands flat down. Step back. Down dog. Or you can jump back there, that's okay too. Plank pose. Lower down. Inhale, cobra. Just gonna move into the next breath, move into the next posture. Downward facing dog. Sometimes it just feels so good to move. That's where our practice sometimes goes to. It leads to the movement. And bend your knees, step jump or walk to the hop, top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. You're gonna do a little bit of that uh, back bend here. So take your body up, go back, go back. Good. I want you to do the last one on your own. We'll meet you down dog. So keep going. You can follow along. Go with your own breathing. Every pose leads in with the next breath. Done. Exhale, you're beginning lowering down. And the inhale leads you into cobra. Make sure you're breathing in. And the exhale leads you back into downward facing dog. It's an awesome couple of rounds that we just did. So our whole body is, is working together. Our breath is helping us. We started out right in that, in that slowness. Now we're, we're beginning to go into that movement. We're gonna lead the right leg up into three-legged dog. We're gonna step that right foot between your hands. And we're gonna cartwheel up and go into warrior two position. So let's drop down that um, left heel, go right into stretching those arms out. Take your peaceful warrior. And take your warrior two. Okay, let's straighten your right leg. Bring your right arm back into a peaceful triangle. Good, warrior two. Take back the center. Bring your right knee to bent position. Good, lower your right forearm down and your left arm over your head. Extended side angle. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out. Inhale, come all the way back to warrior two. Exhale, peaceful warrior. And straighten the right leg, reach back. Take your hands down to the floor. Take your downward facing dog. You can keep flowing and doing the movement. Forward to plank pose, lower down. You can even go into that child pose if you need to. And exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. All right, left leg now. Bring your leg up. Exhale, step that foot forward, warrior two pose. Drop down the right heel, open your arms and hands up to warrior two. Take your peaceful warrior, stretch your left hand up. And switch your arms out into extended side angle. Left arm down, right arm up, breathe in, breathe out, good. I'm gonna reach your top hand towards me a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then breathe in, come back up. Take your peaceful warrior again. And we'll straighten your left leg out. Inhale slowly. Exhale out. Take your hands down towards the floor. Down facing dog. And last one here. Plank pose. Lower down, cobra pose, open up, good. Call it a vinyasa flow, and exhale back to downward facing dog. Reach up here and take a deep breath. And then lower down to child's pose. 
right where we started the practice. We're going to lift up into a uh, table pose here for a moment. And then cross your legs, come in towards a seat position. You can stay facing the uh, front of your mat. And we're going to bring the bottoms of your feet together. So it looks like a little square position here. And if you can, grab your uh, big toes or grab your ankles. And then sit up tall. On an inhalation here, we're going to imagine kind of pulling the crown of the head up. And then on an exhalation here, we're going to push our body forward and come down into a seated forward fold stretch. So you don't want to force or uh, push so hard here. You want to just kind of feel that stretch around the lower back, through the chest, through the shoulders, and especially into the, the legs, the, ham, the hips and hamstrings. Slowly keep those knees out to the sides, and using your hands, you're going to slowly bring the knees together. Good. I want you to stretch your right leg out and bring your left leg inside your, your right leg. Yeah. Open the knee out to the side. And lift your arms. Yeah, bring the left foot inside, in, inside the right leg out. And lift your arms. Now look out to the right toes and then stretch forward and then take a one-legged forward fold. So let's try a little bit of deep breathing here. This is going to really help us in the stretch. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Again, deep breath in, deep breath out. Don't force, deep breath in, deep breath out. And then deep breath in, hold it. And then go a little bit deeper into that stretch and see if you can place the forehead down on the knee with the held breath. Exhale, relax, you can come back up. We'll change to the other side. So we're gonna continue that uh, forward fold with the deep breathing. You got it. Lift your arms and hands. And exhale, stretch up, reach forward and fold. Deep breath in, deep breath out. I'm gonna really help you on the breathing today, really letting that breath help you. Let's do that about four times. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more, deep breath in, hold it, hold the breath. Go directly into the stretch. Try to place your forehead down on the knee. Good, deep breath in and come up. We're gonna take that seated position again and then stretch both your legs forward. Bring your hands out to the sides and just move your hips around. Deep breath in, slowly lift the arms and hands up. Deep breath out, reach out and fold. It's okay to leave the knees a little bent here. You're creating that forward fold through the hip crease and with the, with the belly and the thighs coming in towards each other. Relax. Good. You can leave your arms and hands down, slowly come up. And crossing at the ankle, let's come into a seat. Nice. Press your hands down to the sides of your body. We're going to take your left arm and just stretch it overhead. 
So that arm reaches up and it reaches over towards your side. Take a seated side bend. You're gonna lean over to your right side. You can walk your fingertips out, get into that nice arching through the side. Let's do the other side. So your left arm goes down, your right arm reaches up. And take a lateral side stretch and hold yourself up in that seat. Good. And then lean over one more side, one more time to the left side, left arm up. And I want you to keep your left arm lifted, come up to sitting position and grab your right knee. Take your right arm a little bit further behind you and then begin twisting right at your spine. Imagine you're being pulled up here through the crown of your head. You're twisting, twisting out to the right side and then turn back to center. We're going to do everything again. So left arm down, right arm up. We're going to do that lateral stretch again. So get into that arch through the spine, warm the body up and then Lean up, grab that left knee with your right hand, so you're leaning across, and then gently twisting to the side. Good. Feel that twist. And then come back through center. I want you to spread out the arms, bring both arms up, try to bring the hands together, and then exhale right to the heart center. Good. Right where your legs are crossed, See if you can walk your fingertips forward, seated forward, fold stretch. So you're just going to lean forward, let your hands walk up to the top of your mat. Relax here. It's almost like going back into that child's pose, but just keeping the feet together or the legs crossed. Good, nice job there. Come up to sit. Lean a little to the forward, to the to the front of your mat, where it's let's lay down on your on your back today. In resting position. Take a deep breath. We're gonna do a couple of poses on the floor. So let's grab your right knee and interlace your fingers right over it and pull your right leg in. Keep that left leg stretched all the way out. Take a deep breath. We're going to pull nice and tight and close here. And change. Right leg stretches out. Left leg pulls in. Breath in, deep breath out. I want you to feel really heavy in those shoulders here too. You're pulling that leg in. Take a breath. Stretch your left leg out. Bring your arms and your hands up and back. Reach them over your head. Now pull grip both your knees. Grab them in. I want you to give yourself a really nice big hug here. Squeeze your knees in tight. We have just a few more poses on the back here. Let's lower your feet down, your hands down, and take bridge pose. Lift your hips up, lift your bodies back up. Deep breath in, take bridge. Press your hands to the lower back. So you can lift your hips together or Interlace your fingers around your back. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Release your hands out. Lower down slow. Hug your knees towards your chest one more time. And then you can bring your legs and your feet up if you want to here. Happy baby pose. here, we're going to take our final relaxation. So hug the knees back when you're ready. Hold it there. 
And let your legs spread out, let your arms spread out to the sides, and close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Let it go. And this is where our relaxation begins today. So intentionally try going right into it where your body is settled and comfortable for the next couple of minutes. You can feel nice and heavy in your ankles, your calf muscles, your knees, your hips. Take a deep breath and imagine that you're breathing right into your entire lower body. And we're going to relax the hips, relax the sides of your body, relax your shoulders, relax your arms. I want you to relax your wrists, your hands. And take a really nice, slow, deep breath here and relax your entire upper body. Your face, your jaw, your neck. Really nicely here. We're going to take two more deep breaths. Hold it. Exhale out. And imagine you are breathing through your entire body as it's relaxing. Take a deep, slow breath in. Deep breath out through the mouth. And your body is feeling like it's breathing here. Enjoy these next couple of minutes. Deep relaxation. slow and steady and every inhale you're noticing yourself rise and every exhale just noticing a letting go feeling and your body sinking into the floor and this relaxation has already started but if you're able to Take your body a little bit deeper and further into relaxing. You don't have to, but that's great. Feel if there's any way of you letting go and relaxing and intentionally going just a little bit deeper. Take a breath and relax. And when you're ready, you can begin wiggling around Gently waking yourself up. And then bring your knees up and roll yourself over to the side. And this can be a really comforting position to rest on the side for a second. Nice. And leave yourself on the side just a little longer if you want to linger there. And roll into a nice easy seat pose. And we'll seal our practice today. Good. So as we take that seat, we'll seal the practice. We'll sweep the arms and hands up to the sky. And exhale. Let your hands come through heart center. You can give yourself a smile, a big acknowledgement for doing your practice today. Sometimes 
that is the hardest part is just uh, starting the practice and taking the time and just doing that. So give yourself some credit today. Really, really great job. Really great job, Aaron. Thank you. And thank you. So see you at your practice and namaste you guys.